Okay, that's Eagle primed for action. Oh, no, no. Oh, yes, I remember something about ancient turtles. Hold on. Are we able to summon Sky Armors yet to do regular fights? Because this is a huge monster. I'm not sure because... Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to check something. Uh, let's just walk over here real quick. Because this shows you what you're able to do when you enter a new area. Oh, it doesn't show, show you. Okay. But I can't call a Sky Armor, so we gotta do this turtle on foot. Which makes sense because we just got a new party member in Eagle. So, like... Um... Like, it makes sense that we get to do a combat where we get to, like, test him out. If we which if we did just Sky Armors right away, we'd forget about the poor guy, so... Ta-da! Uh, maybe... Get that going. Oof! Mm-hmm. Drop a basic heal. Now, I have to say about Eagle here, uh, real quick, like, because, um... Obviously, it was a little bit, like, telegraphed. And I'm gonna say a little bit, like, it said in the reward board that he was gonna join the party. So they did spoil that for us. Weak against light, huh? Okay, so none of this is gonna really work. Yes, I just do that, I guess. Uh -huh. Oh, he had a defense buff and a mind buff. Very good. Got rid of those. Look at the splittity. Oh, here he is, the man of the hour, Eagle. Come on, then! Aha. Well, I thought he was supposed to have more hit points and defense, and then he just immediately eats dirt. From this guy. Okay. But uh, anyway, yeah, like, I was, like, making a little bit of fun about the fact that Eagle gets uh, mentioned and, like, we know that he's showing up, but... Uh, here's the thing, like, it's not that bad, honestly, uh, when, I think, when I think about it, like, uh, getting that little, uh, you know, revelation there. Um, because... I mean, yes, we got spoiled on, like, we're getting a new party member who they would be, obviously. Like, like, like that was revealed to us. Unfortunately, but, like, on the other hand, like, it, it, it kind of raises your interest a little bit. Like, when I think back to... Let's go back to think about some, um... Like, uh, PlayStation-era RPGs. Specifically, I'm thinking of, uh... The uh, three PlayStation 1 Final Fantasies, like those come with instruction booklets that mentioned every party member you get in them. Actually, I'm not sure about uh, 8, because I didn't own 8. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna. Not gonna say for sure about 8 there, actually, now that I think about it, but. Um, uh, but, but 7 and 9, for sure, had, like, a list of every party member, so if you read the instruction booklet, you did already spoil yourself on what party members would be joining your crew. Uh... And despite that, I just remember it just kind of kind of being fun to, like, have read those and be like, oh, okay, there's something to look forward to, like, when those characters would finally show up and join you, so... As a kid, I, I wasn't like, oh, no. I've been spoiled on, like, these uh, interesting, like, revelations here, so I, you know, I, I, I didn't find it a problem back then. So in that sense, you know, looking forward to, like, this Eagle showing up, and then when we actually saw who Eagle was, you know, it got a little fun to be like, oh, okay, so that's the character that's going to be joining our crew. Very cool. Oh, yeah, pretty big damage. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't call an eagle right now. Instead, let's... Yeah. 
heal all maybe, just to make sure that uh, Bothros will be okay. This guy hits hard. Just a, you know, observation from yours truly. Shell shield. Oh no, there's that those those buffs again. We gotta get rid of those with some cleanses. Hey, got him paralyzed, that's good. Oh my god, the snort. Alright, let's uh call in Eagle again. Let's see if we can get some work done here. Uh let's cover for Rob, I guess. Let's get rid of those buffs, yeah. Oh no, I fell out of overdrive. I didn't think that one through. Oh no. Which means we are very, like, expensivo here with our abilities now. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Wow. Oh, that was enough to kill. Yay. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I got an achievement for winning 200 battles. Yay. And what did this say about uh, ancient turtles? I just got to beat up five of them, huh? Okay. Ooh, all right. First fight there with uh, Eagle went all right, I guess. Mm, okay, there must be a way to drop down there, I suppose. I've marked all the positions where you can jump on Sky oh. Islands on your map. Oh, thank you, Mato. Yep. Ah, those are what those two blips are there. Yes, those are very handy now in this area where there's a million of those. Wow. Oh, and this just drops back. What, what the heck? Okay. I guess that's a feature. Oh, no, wait, hold on, we gotta go one square down. Here we are. Yep. Have not checked what the shape of the rocks were we're riding, so... Might be missing out on something here, like we can't go across there. Yeah, like there's a rock here. If there's a different shaped rock, there would be a lot of spots to go across there. Oh, there's like a couple of the ASACs to take care of by the looks of it, so, okay. And here, I think... Oop. Okay. Here we are. Let's have a quick run around here, then. Now, how to get to that rooftop? Look. Oh, it's not even a rooftop, it's... Okay. Glad I came to sneak around there. There's just a little gap there. Reaction... What was it? Armlet. Oh, 30% counterattack. Ooh, single target physical attacks with an attack. Yeah, let's put that on Glenn, I suppose. See, I thought we'd have to come here with a uh, sky armor to fly over here. You know, once the ASACs are disabled, but nope. There was actually a little hidden hole there. Glad I went over there. Oh boy, three Tuki Breeze. I think we can do this. They weren't nightmarishly bad. Or were they? I don't remember. Uh, let's get this one going first this time, I guess. Oh my god, that took a rang. Not weak against fire. Oh god, another took a rang. That's very not good. Um. Oh, 
Ooh, that's pretty good damage. Oh my god, triple Tukarang. I am so mad. I am so tilted now. How dare you. Sure, we got a little bit of agility here, and, uh... And it's Glenn who got knocked down. That's rare. I feel like he usually takes attacks pretty good. Okay, okay. Eek! Oof! Alright, about as well as it could actually go. Like, we spread out the damage there. Uh, we got one summon, so let's do that. Ooh, good damage, good damage. We got Petal Storm. Might be a little bit of overkill, but let's make sure this bird dies. Yes! Yes! Definitely give everybody a heal there. Aw, oh, but they're strong against Earth Drums, but I gotta do it to low, well, lower the overdrive meter. Oh god, the Tukarang is really, really sucking, actually, here. Tearing me apart. Hold on, they're weak against wind, so... Wind, jump it in. Yeah! Um, mm. Playing a little risky here, I guess. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I'm on overdrive, that's not smart. Ooh, he was barely there with the heal. Wow, okay. I don't know what I'm doing playing this risky, but here we are. It's getting interesting. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. We'll fall out all wood drive. Darn it. Oof. Okay, okay. Time to do some work, methinks. Make sure that guy dies. Wow, that was like 1,200 damage. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Somehow we're holding on after that. That's the impressive part. I would really love to do this heal, but like we're kind of... Uh, we're gonna fall out overdrive meter if I do that. Instead, let's, I don't know, do a Requiem. Make sure we can tank some attacks. The princess is at full for whatever reason. Okie dokie. Just a basic old light summon. Oh, but we're again. We're in, I gotta do this though, because we're about to get really hurt if this guy, especially if this guy did another Tukarang, that would have wiped us pretty darn good. So, about as safe as you could do that one. Yeah. Pretty good damage still, for a move that hits everybody like that. Okay, um... Oh, blind and toxic. Ooh, you love that, I. Alright, there's Eagle, who should probably lure some damage on himself. Unless this guy took a ranks. Hey, you miss with that blind. Yes, yes. Oh, we fell out of overdrive when I did that. That's not smart, but that's a kill. Okay, wasn't super graceful, but we managed it all right. And, you know, you saw I didn't even have to use any items to res my characters. Managed to sneak out that win. 
even without that. Now, it seems to me like you can just explore this entire island without having to use the, the, the rocks in a particular way. Oops, I didn't even check that. I just mashed through that. My bad. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just run around this place. Ah, uh, no. No, here we go. This is a dead end ski. Except, is there a way to go down? There is! There's a little gap here. I'm glad I looked at the map a little bit closer. Very, very good. There's an area in Final Fantasy VII in Temple of the Ancients. Minor spoiler, but there's the big labyrinth area there. There's like a camera angle makes one archway kind of like this unclear there as well. I remember being a bit stuck as a kid. Oh, really? The merchant? Is that Does that mean a fight is coming our way? It seems like one of those uh, things you do to get across, you know? You know the things you do... That. Things you do before a boss fight thing, right? Uh, I don't know what this is. You're here? Oh, what a coincidence. Did you need anything? Yeah, you've seen through me. I'm actually following you. But thanks to your shopping sprees, I can pay my rent and keep my wife and children fed. Win-win situation, I guess. That's the same dialogue as before. Now... One of the reward board things was to buy three pieces of equipment from this guy. Still can't really afford that, but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to afford anything, given that like it's very expensive and I keep using my money for all sorts of silly silly escapades. That's materials. There's loot. There we go. And I gotta check here in case anything exciting shows up here as an available thingy. A rubber duck, the ultimate accessory that gives immunity to all status effects. That's kind of cute. I can't hate on that. Yeah, we could get one item, and if I sold something off, we could get a second one. Thus pushing us a little bit closer to... this weird reward board requirement here. I don't know if it's that weird, but, like... Wait, isn't there... I could swear there... There, buy at least three pieces of equipment from the merchant in Shambhala. If we do that and then get these two, we'll have a nice chain going here. Find all the hidden caves, we'll get those two as well, you know. Grow the reward board just a wee bit, although I'm pretty happy where we are with this right now. I'm like, this, this achievement here is pretty good as well. Anyway, I'm going to make a paranoid save just because we had encountered that uh, merchant there. Oh, yeah. Now, just so I understand, hold on. Yes, both of these are ether cannons. It's not like one of them is optional and one of them is... Uh, just an easy side thingy, so... Doesn't really matter which one we do then, I suppose. We can just go up here first to do this, and then go left for that one. Looks like over here is another giant chain. Ooh. Wait. Why did we do that? The island is floating towards the central landmass we crossed before. Oh, okay, I see. Maybe we had to come here, and by doing that, we're now able to go across, maybe, to the other area. I don't know. <laughs> why? Oh, why did you send me here, yeah, your highness? Shambhala belongs to the church and flies over Valandis' territory. His Highness has his suspicions. 
I know I am here! Oh! That's a little rude. The general is in a bad mood because of his fear of heights. You better keep quiet. But isn't he a sky armor pilot? No talking! Let's keep moving. The faster we make our rounds here, the faster we'll be back in torment for a piece of juicy hearthy and steak. Let's see what the church has to hide here. Okay. Good to know that he's gonna be here. Great. Ah! A loot symbol. And there's the other one, so this one has to cross... This one's a little hard to tell, actually, where this one crosses. It doesn't kind of look like... None of them really cross well. It might be, like, mega down here. No? No. Oh, hey! Wow, okay, at least I noticed that. We missed one of these, by the way. One of these, uh... Buried things, right? It was, like, early in Shambhala. And I couldn't really figure out where it was. So the, so the ones pointing to the bottom do intersect, but I think it's way, way, way far to the south, so it's not anywhere relevant to us. I think it's the top one on the left one, and the leftmost one on the right one intersect somewhere, like, behind that lake. There we go, a can machine. Okay. Enemies can be canned at 50% max HP. Well, well, well. That is a very easy one to choose who to put that on. 50% is really good. Oh my god, two of these. That's a problem. This is gonna be the whole rest of the episode fighting these two. My god. Man, this armor break, by the way, or yeah, no, this not armor break, this armor defense thing they have, that actually is doing work. That is blocking a lot of damage. Okay. Speed the team up a little bit. Hell yeah. A little bit of bleed. I should have swapped her out, by the way, actually. I keep forgetting I need to swap folks out, you know. It was light damage. Get it. Oh, I can't use that right now. It's not gonna... It'll drop us out of overdrive, so instead... It's a boring old... Ow. Okay. Come on, attention! Okay. I was rather hoping we would res with uh, Amalia there, so this is not entirely uh, what we wanted. Let's hope Amalia doesn't get attacked here. <sighs> okay. We're gonna get a game over there anyway, so let's just back off. Man, these turtles are something fierce! Okay, okay, okay. Let's play a little bit smarter here. I gonna open up the same way, but I think I can play just a wee bit smarter. At least we can set up these uh, nasty little traps here.
Cut chick. Eh. Alright, crest there with the heels ready to go. Okay, okay. Oh, let's see now, let's see. Get a little bit of, you know, DOTs going on them. Oh, this snort sucks. Okay. That didn't really do anything. It already was loaded. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. All right. That's a pandemic spread. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this raise though. I keep... Look at how fast these turtles are. They're getting three moves in a row. What? How are they that fast? That's Eagle down, huh? Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Hey, nice, lucky. Uh, we gotta raise our health here before we. Think about raising Eagle back up, so we're gonna do that instead. And now let's get rid of some of those defenses. Ta da! Yikes! Double yikes! Well, that's not very sporting. How are. They're turtles! How are they this fast? Okay, well this is this is a real fight now, folks. Wow. Well, we're gonna have another go. I might have to use I haven't done ultra moves in ages because we've been doing pretty good, but I might have to use Glenn's ultra move. These turtles are just something way too tough. Maybe we're just supposed to come here later when maybe we're supposed to turn off one. ASAC, and then we can use Sky Armors. And we could then fight them. We did take out this uh, guy, like, fairly okay-ish when we fought the one, but, like... Now we are being put through the ringer. I might actually have to use, um... Yeah, rather than use Arms Break to reduce their damage might actually be the smarter move here than... Go for that damage, I guess. Yeah! Uh... How do defense break and mind break? Or, and, and defense break and defense buff stack? I'm not actually seeing how they stack, so... I'm not sure about this, but that's rude. I seriously do not understand how these uh, turtles are this insanely fast. And then they do that snort and like nothing, you know, comes out of it. Okay, okay. Oh, we swapped sides this time. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. It really looks like our only choice is to use lens uh, cleanse to lens cleanse. Yeah get rid of that defense buff like we're, we're not getting work done and I gotta use arms break to make sure that their like damage values are low kind of like I did with the forest worms remember I was able to beat those guys and they were tough as balls by using arms break very carefully to make sure that I wouldn't be overwhelmed by damage I'm not ready for oh and also uh, requiem would be really handy let's call in Abel instead I guess Attention! Hey, I took it. That might also come in handy. Get up, soldier. Mm. 
me do that cleanse on that guy. Bad shooting. Another agility buff never hurt nobody. Keeping it together. All right, damage, I suppose. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm a little scared of using attack stance because we really need to keep that defense in mind up this engagement. Let's instead just do a basic old cross slash for turbo damage. Oh. All right, disarm. Lower that uh, threat a little bit. We're holding it together. Oh, no, these were light, yes. Ooh, that's good damage. Now we're talking. N Ooh, right shield ally. Thank heavens. Okay, very lucky there. Oh, that would be fun, but... We haven't even loaded our thing yet, so no. Instead, we're gonna do this, and let's do this to make sure we can take some attacks. Just increase our survivability here, you know? Uh, I've removed... Very good, I've removed the defenses on both of them. Now we just layer on the damage. Unfortunately, I can't quite see the health bar because it's being blocked by the initiative tracker up there, so... Struggling a little bit here. Cut click That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that, and I need to heal my crew. That goes too low. Just hope this guy dies now. No. Okay. Well, thankfully, gonna turn right there. Okay. I'm already foreseeing my overdrive meter going nuts here as I try to fix this situation. Great. Alright, get rid of those. Come on, speed up a little bit. Ugh. Okay, we gotta get our general health up before we worry about Len there, so... No, I could have used her ultra move. Doesn't her ultra move res people? I might be misremembering, but... Oh. X slash. Yeah! Ooh, lucky! That was a very good use of X slash. Okay, this time we got a winning chance. Good. Played the long game and it, uh... We held the line, as they say. Gonna use another heal all to... Should I call in? Oh, I'm playing super risky now. What am I doing, you crazy man? Let's do arms break to make sure this guy can't... do nothing too bad.
Okay, hold on. Now, how's this ultra move work? Revives and restores all HP for all characters. Let's just do that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Not how I expected that to work. Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Crest turns into a healing werewolf. <laughs> Excuse me? But, uh, okay, hey, you know, I think that was a time. I don't know. I think if I tried to, like, stumble through without doing that, we would have been in trouble. So, I think that was the right play there. Oof. Uh, oh no, that will drop us below, so let's not do that. Let's just give it a regular hit in the face. There we go. Nah, I should have hit cleanse anyway to lower that uh, meter. Nah, not making some lazy mistakes here now. Well, toxic shot, that'll, you know, get the job done. Here's Eagle to save the day! Ooh, right. Now's the time for first aid. Boing! And a little bit of heal all to help out the rest of the crew. Okay, there's that defense again. So now we gotta get that cleanse going in just a bit. Actually, when I say just a bit, I mean like right now! So sorry, your plan is over. Hmm. Let's make sure we survive with a Requiem. I'm really swapping out characters today. I just like, you know, whenever there's a chance without dropping out overdrive, I'm just like doing that. Just to make sure. Oof. Can't do anything too bad. The princess is always just full on stats. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, ooh. But then there's Rob, who is. A little uh, low on the gas there. Okie dokie. Oh, this guy's almost dead, though, so this should probably... Do it! Yeah. hi yi yi That was a fight. Had to put my noggins into work there. To make sure that I walked out of that one. But hey, it's good. Now that we've got such a robust party, like, you know, I feel like I do have options to work with, and like... Previously, it really did feel a little bit like, uh, you know, like some of the fights just felt very, very brutal. Um, I was going to go up and turn off the cannon, but like I'm worried we're going to hit like some kind of cutscene or mini boss or something or other. So as good as it could have been to go up there right now and do that and then cap off the episode, I'm going to call it here anyway. So yeah, Shambhala is putting us through the ringer a little bit with these giant turtles, but um, I think I think we'll manage. Um, I hope you guys look forward to more exciting adventures up here in the floating continent. Look forward to it. Bye!